Welcome to SS Tutorial. Today I am here with a new video. This video is going to be on a very important topic. So please don't skip and keep watching. Today in this video, we will briefly discuss about Coriolis effect, Ferrell's law and Bice Ballot's law. So let's begin. If you see the movement of any cyclone, then you obviously found that cyclone spins and they travels. Here you probably notice that in the northern hemisphere cyclone spins counterclockwise, whereas in the southern hemisphere it spins clockwise. This happens due to Coriolis effect. Let's know about Coriolis effect. All of you know that earth rotates west to eastward on its axis and it takes almost 24 hours. Earth rotates faster at the equator than it rotates at the pole. As spheroid shape of the earth, equator of the earth is wider than that of pole. Due to earth rotation, a force generates, which is known as Coriolis force, which is an inertial force that acts on fluids, which are in motion, like air, water and so on. In the year of 1835, French scientist Gaspard Gustave de Coriolis gave mathematical expression of Coriolis force for first time. That's why the force was named Coriolis force after him. Let's imagine that you are an archery man and you are now in northern hemisphere and you have a target to point with an arrow. Now if you throw arrow for pointing target in a straight line then you will miss to point the target as your arrow will deflect in right side. Whereas in the southern hemisphere your arrow will deflect left side. It happens due to different rotational speed in different parts of the earth. This apparent deflation is known as Coriolis effect. Fluids like air currents, water currents are moves across the large area and then it deflects in right side in the northern hemisphere and left side in the southern hemisphere. They cannot move in straight line in large scale. This effect is actually known as Coriolis effect. The amount of deflation is related with the speed and its latitude. Therefore, slowly blowing winds deflects small amount while strong blowing winds deflects higher amount. That is why cyclonic winds deflects more. Military snipers sometimes have to consider the Coriolis effect as bullet also deflects in air. A small amount of deflation causes several damage of civilian infrastructure as well as civilian injury. Let's know about Ferrell's law. Ferrell's law is actually the application of the Coriolis effect to air, water and so on. As we know that due to Coriolis force, deflection occurs in particles which are in motion like air, water, etc. American meteorologist William Ferrell described the application of the Coriolis effect on moving particles for the first time. According to Ferrell, moving particles like air, wind, etc. deflect right side in the northern hemisphere and left side in the southern hemisphere due to Coriolis force. This law is widely known as Ferrell's law. In a simple word, when winds moves from a high pressure zone to low pressure zone, then wind deflects right side in the northern hemisphere and wind deflects left side in the southern hemisphere. This law for the first time is discovered by William Ferrell. That is why this law is known as Ferrell's law after him. Let's know about Bice Ballot's law. Bice Ballot law is actually the relationship between atmospheric pressure and wind. Dutch meteorologist Bice Ballot described Bice Ballot's law. According to him, if a person stands in northern hemisphere with their back to the wind, then the atmospheric pressure will be low to their left side and atmospheric pressure will be high to their right side. It will happen because wind blow counterclockwise when it moves high pressure to low pressure. Whereas if the person stands in the southern hemisphere with their back to the wind, then the atmospheric pressure will be high to their left side and atmospheric pressure will be low to their right side. As wind blow clockwise direction when it moves high pressure zone to low pressure zone. And all of this happens due to Coriolis force. That's all for today. Hope you like this video. If you like this video then please press the like button and share with your friends. To get our new video please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.